All right, it's my new MSX, Gotway MSX 100 volt. I've had it for about a week now. I've done some customizing work on it. I redid the padding. This is a uh, quarter inch thick neoprene. I got one layer here, and I got three layers here right above my ankles, because that's where I prefer to have the pads. Uh, I used the original pads here as uh, power pads, so I can get a little bit more oomph from it. Um, the original pedals had too steep of an angle for me. I was very, very uncomfortable. I borrowed my in-motion pedals and put them on here for now until I get the, until the replacements come in. And when I put them on, they were resting almost flat, almost like perfectly flat. So I had to put this little spacer here, or a shim, to give me just a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of a tilt. Now, uh, I'm an intermediate rider. I'm not pushing things up to 40 miles an hour. At least not yet, and not for a while. I got my programming set for, say, 35 miles an hour. Um, and today's, today's run, today, uh, while, I'm, while I'm practicing, I still don't quite have that wobble controlled. It, it's got a little bit of a wobble that I still have to get used to. I did about 9 miles, a top speed of almost 35 miles an hour. Average speed of just a little under 20. And it went from a 99% battery to a 70% battery at the end. Yeah, my old in motion. I'm going to take that out, swap the pedals back, take out my in motion for a little while. Uh, nice leisurely run. I've had that for a year. I know how to <laughs> know how to handle that a little more comfortably. But I'm um, I'm really enjoying this. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to get a lot more miles out of it. Uh. All right, uh, my original pedal back on. That's too steep of an angle, and I got some Nicola pedals. From, from the people down at E-Wheels and it made no difference. So I'm filing the inside of the pedal down. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit flatter. I'm going to have to test this, see how much, see how much I like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, a little side note, the axle for the pedals this is the Gotway axle. This is the uh, in motion axle. They're the exact same diameter, so you can easily slide one one pedal on rather than the other. But you're going to need a little bit of a little bit of a spacer or something like that to uh, make it work. Okay, there's a comparison. All right. There's the pedal that I've been filing the angle down, and on the left is the in-motion pedal. That in-motion is just way too flat. So I have these, I have these spacers here that I've been using while I'm using this. And I stick them on, stick them on here, and then pull that down. look at this. Yeah, that's not too much difference. I have to see what I can do with the other pedal. Okay, on the right here we have the pedals as they came. They were filed a little bit machine professionally before they arrived. I don't have that kind of equipment. And on the right, this is where I filed a little bit extra down so the pedal would rest a little flatter. This is exactly how I like it. I'll use 
use this for, for the major portions and this nail file here to get fine tune it once it's about where I need it to be. Alright, that's where I filed it too on the one that I liked. Still has a little ways to go. It's funny. On my in motion, I actually filed the frame and not the pedal. This is a lot easier. Looks like I've got a little ways to go to make that even. But this is actually working a lot quicker than I expected. Nice file. Get the, gets this job done pretty quick. Okay. Now I've got the pedals adjusted to how I like them. I like them almost flat. Otherwise my feet will really hurt. Uh, I'm going to have to cut away a little piece of that pad. And my X-Acto knife for that. An important note. The Gotway held on with magnets and the in motion is held on with friction. A lot of people prefer the magnets for good reason. Personally I prefer the friction but it's not that big of a deal. Um, I can adjust the friction when I you know to, to the setting I like. And another note when Gotway sent me new pedals they sent me a new pair of uh, pedal axles along with them and the bolts and the end and these spacers. When I ordered new pedals from him in motion, they assumed I had my own axles and bolts, and uh, I had to I had to buy it because it completely snapped off. So I had to go back to where where the pedal snapped off and search through the grass to find that stupid little bolt. make a fender for this thing. That'll work well. Okay. Not bad. It's a little bit of work, but Do pretty pretty good. <laughs> that is held on with mailing tape. Should have used a two liter bottle, it's a little bigger. But 
this will work fine while I brainstorm a new idea. If you've got a new idea, put something in the comment section for me. Seems to be working fine. Preventing all that water from being splashed up on me. A lot of, a lot of crud too.